So this is my attempt to a go-kart. This is a 48 volt brushless DC motor. Uh, these are three uh, 18 volt, two amp hour batteries in series. This is a 48 volt um, motor controller. So this is my gear shifter. It's just a simple toggle switch. Um, once for forward and zeros for reverse. Uh, that's my accelerator, that's the pedal. So I could have just uh, connected the, the pedal directly into the motor controller, but then I would lose a sense of control over my car. So what I wanted to do was read the data from the pedal into the Arduino, and then from the Arduino, uh, I'll put the data into the, uh, I'll put the data into the throttle sensor of the motor controller accordingly. But that came with the challenge because the Arduino uh, only supports pulse width modulation. Um, so it didn't have a DAC implemented internally. So what I had to do was create a low pass filter so that I can convert the pulse width modulation to a steady variable DC voltage. So the way I created the low pass filter was with a transistor to increase voltage and a resistor and a capacitor. What do you mean by increase voltage? What I mean is that Without the transistor, without getting the extra five volts from the Arduino to the throttle sensor, um, I only had an output of about 1.8 volts. And since the throttle sensor expect expected a maximum of 3.8 volts, I wasn't able to get the maximum rotation of the of the DC motor. So that's the reason why I had to use the transistor. So the way I implemented the the toggle switch is with two transistors. Uh, the reason I needed two transistors is because the way this works through the motor controller is that the way to shift the, to invert the gears is that I needed to jump the yellow to black for forward and then the purple to black for reverse. So essentially I would just open and close the gates of the transistors accordingly on the direction of the or the state of the toggle switch. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's see this in action to see that it works. So as you can see, I haven't, I'm not pressing the pedal anymore, and the motor was still rotating. The reason for that delay is because it takes a certain amount of time for the capacitor to discharge. So that's essentially the reason why it keeps on rotating even though I haven't pressed the pedal. Uh, to avoid this is um, to create a braking system, which I haven't made. Uh, I would probably have like a, a like a a foot pedal on the left side for brake and then make a braking system. Um, I'm planning on making a PCB so it doesn't look so messy. And then and also instead of using an Arduino Uno, use an Arduino Nano. Make it nice and compact. See how small I can make this? Hopefully it's nice and clean. Um, still don't know where I'm gonna put the batteries. <laughs> Takes a lot of space. But they're better than the lead acid batteries. So these are lithium ion. They're dural batteries. <laughs> That's what I had. I know it's a, it's an over voltage as well. <laughs> That's what I had though. But yeah, I mean, uh, I still haven't mounted the the brushless DC motor. I'm still waiting on the crank to be soldered onto the to the wheel so I can actually put this go kart in motion. But so far, it's a pretty crude demonstration of a go kart. Uh, it's just a proof of concept so far. Um, pretty sweet, <laughs> you know from building little RC cars to a go-kart. <laughs> Gotta scale it up.